Hello everyone and welcome back to the channel. We're here on Silver Run to do some testing today with me, Farmer Murphy. So what are we up to? Well, yesterday uh, Farmer Cop released a video uh, where he had done some testing on repairs and what affected repairs. And a pretty good video. Uh, I've I've watched a lot of Farmer Cop's uh, testing videos and I think he does a really good job and I'll actually put a link to that video in the description if I remember to. And anyways, um, he basically just confirmed everything that I knew about uh, repairs uh, that I learned from doing a video very early on in 22 on used versus new uh, vehicles and repairs that we underwent except for one thing where um, he had stated something that I had been telling everybody was true and that is that doing a repaint on a vehicle would bring your repair costs down and once the paint had been worn and now I've been telling everybody this based on information I got from a friend who was running a large farm with a number of tractors of, that had over 100 hours on them and he repainted them and he said his repair costs went down and he had done kind of like some field testing but not really any empirical testing and so we were talking about this uh, when uh, Farmer Cops video came out and trying to figure out what maybe went on and farmer cop didn't really say how he did that testing or what the conditions were and so what I thought I'd do would do some testing of my own under similar conditions uh, that my friend was in so that's why we're here on silver run because on new farmer mode you start with this uh, nice old Volvo here and if we jump in we can see we have 99 hours on it so uh, like I said my friend had tractors with a hundred plus hours on it so we've got a piece of equipment with well essentially a hundred hours and if we take a look we can see the paint condition is not right at zero but it's very poor uh, I have done the repair, so it's in perfect repair condition. So what I'm going to do is I have a couple pieces of equipment here. And I am going to go and do, same as Farmer Cop did, he did based it on 20 minutes of work, so I'm going to do the same thing. I'm going to take this mower and go and mow uh, for 20 minutes and then come back and do a repair. And then I'm also going to repaint and then I'm going to hook onto it and go mow for 20 minutes again now what I'm going to do is I'm going to do a save to this spot so every time I'm going to be starting here I'm going to be starting with a brand new piece of equipment each time now one of the things that uh, I had talked about with my buddy was that maybe it was work related because he was doing uh, work on the same field but different type of work when he made his observation as to repair costs so I have a plow here. Now, if we go into the our garage here, we, we can see that the Volvo is 140 horsepower. The plow takes 140 horsepower, so that is pretty much using everything that the tractor has. And then the mower is just the opposite. It only takes 26 horsepower, so it should be no effort at all for that tractor. So we're going to go, and I'll do 20 minutes of plowing, and we'll see if that makes any difference. So that's what I'm going to go do. I'm just going to do it in a grass field straight down the road here. So I'll go take care of that, and then we'll come back, and we'll talk about the results. All right, we're done. So what I did is I took a screenshot of each of the repair screens after I completed those tasks. So I'll bring the first one up here. So you can see here we're at 99.4 uh, hours. Our paint condition is the same as it was, very poor. And the cost of repair after that 20 minutes of mowing was $169. So let's take a look at the next one. 
Well, again, you can see we're at 99.4 hours, and our paint condition is excellent. It's been fully repainted, and our repair costs after 20 minutes of mowing this time was $164. So essentially no change, just slightly less than the first time. And uh, I put that down to just the simple fact that I was the second time I've done it probably just a little bit more efficient. Uh, so now let's take a look at the third one. All right, this is our last repair for after the 20 minutes of plowing. Again, you can see 99.4 hours, paint condition very poor. And after 20 minutes of plowing, our repair, $163. So we have confirmed that paint indeed has no impact um, on repair costs whatsoever. So the only reason to do it is for aesthetic reasons. And the other hypothesis we had that it might have been the equipment that my buddy was using and we have proved that that has no impact so it doesn't matter how hard you work the tractor because we went from very minimal load to max load and that made no difference so really don't know what the deal was on that but we've eliminated those two things anyway so if you want to minimize repair costs the secret is repair often um, the only variable in it is that when a tractor is new, the rate at which it takes damage does increase as you put hours on. Meaning that, uh, what I'm trying to say is that in order to get 10% damage on the vehicle, it will happen at a slower rate with less hours on it, but it does peak. When Pharmacop did his testing, he found it had already peaked at 50 hours, and I think it hits its peak just from my in-the-seat testing observations over hours of playing the game. It's around, my guess, it'd be about 30, 35 hours is where that rate of change of damage to the vehicle is now flatlined. Uh, but it doesn't matter once you have a vehicle with uh, 30 percent damage it's going to cost you the same to repair it at if it's got uh, one hour on it or um, if it's got a thousand hours on it one thing though i'll just remind everybody for repairs that the um, cost per hour is always variable that never changes and what i mean by that i'll give you an example here uh, these aren't real numbers but i'm just using round numbers so you, you know you have the idea let's say we took this tractor out and used it for an hour um, and after that we repaired it or we came back and checked what it would cost to repair and it was going to be a thousand dollars then we don't repair it we go out and we use it for another hour uh, we might bring it back and expect that now it's going to cost us 2000 but we're surprised to find that no, it's actually going to cost 3000 So the first hour, obviously $1,000 an hour, after two hours, it costs us, would have cost us 3000 or $1,500 an hour. And that carries on if we went out and did another additional hour's worth of work, and now our repair is going to be, um, let's say... 6,000 now our repair costs are up to $2,000 an hour so what you want to do is just repair as frequently as practical because it is not a straight line or linear function there is a curve to it and the uh, longer you wait to the repair the more it's going to cost you in dollars per hour so anyways I hope you found that information useful um, if you have any other ideas for testing you'd like me to take a look at, as always, just leave them in the comments and I'll do my best to take them on. I know it's been a while since I've done one of this, one of these, I should say. But anyways, I really appreciate watching. Hope you found it informative. If you did, please hit that old like and subscribe button. And if you want to see when other content like this lands, hit the old notification bell. But for this test, pretty short and sweet. And until next time, Farmer Murphy. Signing out.